Pato, Toto Pico, Toto Kuai, Toto Pita, Papiento. So, 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 a noi. Eh? Pancon Popota? Pato, Popetusi, a Pancon? Eh, no. Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time, we finished up the perplexing pool. We went into the submerged castle and took down the water rate. Today, with a fresh new coat of paint and a new companion, we're heading back to where it all began the Valley of Repose. Five remaining overworld treasures, two caverns. Let's do some work. If you enjoy doing work and enjoy watching this series, Liking the video, commenting, and subscribing would really help and make me very happy. So here we go, we're gonna land back in the Valley of Repose. First time in a while. Only gonna be doing overworld stuff today though. But first, let's learn about our new companion and frenemy. The President. No Louis, unfortunately, as we learned in the intro video. So the President will be our companion for the remainder of the game. As you can see, there's a new fresh coat of paint for the ship. Godly covered in gold. So the ship now, with a new coat of paint, apparently has a new heart and is pretending to actually care about Louie. Do I buy it? No, I do not. So first things first, grab 80 blue Pikmin. With the president, grab 20 white Pikmin. It doesn't really matter who does what. You're just gonna wanna have this combination of 100 Pikmin to start the episode. And we're gonna get the murdering out of the way early with killing a bull borb. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, moving ahead. No time to, no time to mourn. Instead, prepare yourselves. This is something you can probably do a lot sooner, maybe when you're in the Valley of Repose earlier but we didn't have the blue Pikmin in time. So instead we're going to use the blue Pikmin, all 80 of them and their beautiful blue selves to take down this wall. We're gonna boop a doop a doop a doop every single one of them into the wall. You can take them out sooner, I'm sure, but like I said, we didn't really have access to them. So instead we're gonna get all of our in the blues ready to go. Once this is knocked down and the real fun begins, we're gonna get five treasures in about 15 minutes or so, however long this takes. This is gonna be kind of ridiculous, but I believe in us, viewers. With all your help, I'm sure I can do it. Okay, so first things first, go ahead and have all of your blue Pikmin attack the ground butthole. The water variety, the enemanized Vergy. Vergy, version, there we go. And now, Get all that liquid sucked up into your b-hole and prepare for treasure hunting. So here we go. First thing, gonna come right over here. And we're gonna start to unearth one of the treasures here. You can have as many blue Pikmin as you want doing this one. Make the more the merrier, to be honest. But we're gonna have our blue Pikmin and the president come over here because we need to get a little bit of revenge. Does anybody remember these guys from the perplexing pool? That's right. These are water dumples. I know the name now. They've had it coming to them for a long time. And they are no match for 80 blue Pikmin. Your Pikmin will very aggressively try to carry their corpses though. So here's a new enemy. Watch yourself. Took out one of our Pikmin already. This is the armored cannon beetle. One of the new Pikmin enemies as we are interrupted by a cutscene. One second here. And all of its pixelated glory, my friends. This is the spiny alien treat. All right. So we've got the armored cannon beetle here, which will fire a very obnoxious little rock that will hone on to your captains until it smashes into something. Also, which is really annoying, another enemy over here that we're very familiar with is the fire blowhog. If you can hoard your Pikmin in one concentrated effort, it's normally enough to take them out, especially if they're not ready for the ambush. So get your Pikmin coming back. Blow out the fire, the candles, if you will, of the Pikmin that are dealing with that. And go ahead and use about half, take them with you, along with whatever Pikmin fell into the water, like a bunch of ding-dongs. So grab them. You're gonna want all hands on deck for this next part. Grab them with you. 42 seems like an ample amount. And we're gonna come over here 
for a little more murdering. Oh yeah. Wouldn't be a D Mike Plays Let's Play of Pikmin 2 without some more murdering. So we got more dumples here. You might lose a casualty or two. That's okay. Once you can get them cleared out, this is definitely of your best interest to do this. And then once that has happened, move your Pikmin out of the way. Move your Pikmin out of the way. Stop. And get the attention of this obnoxious goober. Have this guy come into the water with you. This is the only way to really make this happen. Make sure he's fully in the water and completely extinguished. And then once he's petrified, I was scared, I was petrified. Send your blue Pikmin out after him. All right, and then have them all get together and carry this item. It's very important that you do that, obviously. We're gonna switch back over to Olimar with the remaining white Pikmin. It only should take about four or five to take back that item. But there's a burrowing Snagrit. Scary, right? No, because for some reason, the AI of the game stops caring about the, um, it stops caring about the, uh, the Pikmin once the captain's there. It's just like, well, there's a captain here. Snagger can't do anything. It's a bummer. So we're going to rush back to, it's still funny that it plays the music. Um, we're going to rush back to the onion and we're going to do a little bit of a pivot here. We're definitely going to put the blue Pikmin back because they have done a wonderful job. Let them all head back, take a nice little snooze for their excellent work. We're going to take yellow Pikmin out instead. As many as we can get for now. We'll want more than this, trust me. Stop it. But there's not really a ton I can do yet until the other white Pikmin come back. This is the group that was with Olimar. And the Snagret. Beautiful little treasure, the pink menace. Make sure you propose with a ring like that. Women love it. Okay. Or whoever wants a ring, to be honest. Whoever's into that. All right. So we've got Olimar. We've got two Pikmin of the white variety. Once the, once the Pikmin are done carrying this back, we're going to swap out the, every single one of these blues for something else. So as you can see, getting the white Pikmin on board always helps. If we can whistle off some of the blues and then have the whites take over instead, might be faster. Yes. So that's always good to do. Swap out your team using white Pikmin whenever possible to speed up the process of carrying shenanigans. Because we need to go and grab the blue Pikmin and swap them out. Okay. This is treasure number three, the temporal mechanism. All right, so the blue Pikmin have done their job. They are going to go away. We don't need any more of them. Please go away faster. Okay. And we're going to want a... We're going to do... 35 more yellows, and then we're going to wrap up the squad with 10 purples. Just trust me on this one. It's a nice little mixture. Purple, white, yellow. And that means there are 35 blues, or s roughly that many, probably not quite 35, because we did grow some Pikmin, that are out and about, just hanging out. I think that they tried to build the bridge for us earlier, so. Okay, so there we go. Our focus today is treasure, of course. So here we go. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna actually split up the squad here Nope, stop. I'm gonna have Olimar take these blues back because we don't need them as such. And we're gonna have the president take our first swath of yellows. Just trust me on this one. I love how the, the landscape is just absolutely littered with the, the corpses of our, our enemies here. Let's sneak past the cannon new. Sneak past the armored cannon beetle. The one we did kill, of course. We'll be dispatching the other one here soon. We're gonna give just the right amount here to this treasure. If I could throw the Pikmin correctly, they need to land right on this little leap. All right, is that 25? 23, 24, 26, that's fine. 
Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna want to have Olimar take these blues and ooh, we'll take half him, head the little exit sneaky way. We'll grab the rest of our Pikmin here in a minute. But we need to have Olimar take the blues back. If I can manage to pull this off, I'll be so proud of myself. We don't need any more blues, like I said, so they can all go away. But we are going to want to predominantly feature our white Pikmin. Our blues could pretty much get the heck out of here faster. Yeah, you're going to want to grab as many white Pikmin as you can. Just trust me. They'll make this process so much easier. Yellow Pikmin, obviously, for the raised treasure that you can't really grab. There it is. There, they're going. You don't really need other Pikmin beyond that. I mean, you don't need your yellows beyond that. That's basically how they're going to contribute. So we're going to try to just get this final treasure. We'll worry about opening up the caverns in the next episode, which will just be kind of part of the process. First things first, though, we're going to come over here for just a second, whistle off the purples and the whites, and grab the purples. Get one locked and loaded in the chamber. Let the armored cannon beetle fire its dumb rock at us. Keep moving, of course. Get away, get away, get away. All right, I think you got a couple. That's okay. NBD, although losing purples is kind of annoying given what we're about to do. But there you go. You're gonna wanna stay as far away from that treasure as you can when you're getting it. That was five, one, two, three. I lost five purples? Come on, game. All right, wasn't very cash money of me, but I need my, where are my white Pikmin at? Where did I put them? I... I'm getting confused because I used the wrong captain for this. Where Olimar? Okay, very good. This next part is really tricky and annoying. Where did I put all my white Pikmin? I dipped them off to the side. We're not being very smart. There they are. A ton of white Pikmin will make this faster. Beyond the yellows that we've already got back at the base. Get your purples primed and ready. Amazon primed and ready. Please don't sue me, Amazon. All right. And we've got a withering blow hog in frame rate issues. We can take this guy out. He's just kind of a nuisance. Okay, and then break off your Pikmin. Just grab your purples. Trust me. We've got another armored cannon beetle. Which for some reason... He's just gonna... Toss your Pikmin everywhere. Gotta wait. He's not very good at aiming though. Just convenient. Just make sure your purples are staying out of the way. Of the frame rate issues, of course. You can really launch your Pikmin pretty far, though. Which is annoying. They should be able, though, to stick around and kind of avoid any of his attacks. All of them can't avoid his attacks. Jeez. Yeah, we're just going to try to hack away as fast as we can. Come on, boys. Get him. Almost done. This is one of the most annoying enemies in the area. I'm just gonna grab everything else I got and try to go full bore on him. Looks like he's getting health back, which is really annoying, but there we go. Man, the frame rate is taking a big fat crap. Okay, here we go. So you don't it doesn't matter what type of Pikmin you have here, you just need 30 of them, and I recommend white Pikmin. If you want to get this done as fast as Pikminly possible. There we go! White Pikmin, go! Got 35 white Pikmin carrying this thing together. Hopefully I didn't take any Pikmin away from the crown. He ruined what the treasure is! 
Alright, help out. Come on, get there as fast as you can. They're the ones that obviously have the quickest little Pikmin legs. So it should be just enough time, I think. Let's carry it back. We'll see if they can make it. Probably would have helped if I would have actually had them help attack earlier on, but I didn't because I'm a ding-dong. We'll see if they can make it. It'll be close. They might be able to do it in just the nick of time. Hurry, my white pigmen! You can do it! I believe in you! It looks like this is gonna be pretty close. Viewers, can we do it? Looks like it's gonna happen! It's happening! And treasure 5 out of 5. All the possible above ground treasures and frame rate issues all in one episode. The unspeakable wonder! That's it, everybody. That's all 85 Pikmin in the group, so we cleared it out. That's a successful day, an incredibly successful day, mind you. Did lose some Pikmin, unfortunately, but that's okay. And then next time, we'll be heading out and taking on one of the two of the dungeons. They're both kind of long, so I'm going to do my best to just head right to them and... Make some magic happen. How does that sound, viewers? Good? Of course it does. Okay, viewers, today's report. Uh, a successful one. There we go, those are the five above ground slash buried treasures to clear out the Valley of Repose. Unfortunately, we did lose seven purples, ugh. Four blues. Don't worry though, there actually is going to be a plan once we clear out the Valley of Repose in a little while that I'm gonna be spending some time off screen acquiring a bunch of purples for a very unique purpose. But first, mail from somebody different. Hmm. Some president you are. I just got back from vacation to find out you're on a treasure hunt. Well, don't bother coming home until you found every item on your list. Appears this is the Mrs. President. Gotta be careful with that. Okay, but that's it. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. Next time, we'll be tackling one of those two caverns in the Valley of Repose. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, if you could like the video, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.